I've sparred a lot of lot of good fighters, right? Yourself included in that. And I always find that the spars um, that I used to probably lack confidence in maybe are the ones where I didn't land punches on the guy. And, and that sounds very simplistic. But what I mean by that is, right, I could be in there sparring someone who is really, really well-skilled, high-level boxer. But if I can land on them, mm. I'll never sort of lose that confidence because I'm like, yeah, I know I'm taking a pace in here, but I'm landing shots on you. And whenever I throw, providing it's not, you know, completely unnecessary, I'll probably land punches on you, right? And the spars that will get away from you are the ones that not only are you taking a bit of damage, the defence is just too good and you can't really land on them. So sometimes in those spars, for example, where I can land on someone, I'm thinking, right... All I do know, I know I can't get out of the way of these shots, but all I do know is I can land on you. So let me fight fire with fire here. And that's the way that I'm sort of guided in some of these spars sometimes. And when I look at Joseph Parker against Chile Zhang, one thing that I do believe is Joseph Parker's going to have the better feet in there. But like you said, you can have the better feet and you can move around. But in the AJ fight, it didn't do all that much for him because he didn't win that fight. So I think there's going to come a time in this fight when Joseph Parker goes, OK, I've clearly got the better feet for you, but it's not really pulling this fight in my favour enough. And what I do know is every time I throw, I'm landing. I don't know whether I'm wrong. You could have seen saying Zhang's defence to tell me I'm wrong at that. But I feel like every time Joseph Parker lets his hands go in this fight his punches find a home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Zhang is like an elusive master. Do you know what I mean? Like he's, that's, that's, that's what I mean. He's there to be hit. And like, yeah, we use the Anthony Joshua fight, but that was years ago. Like the Wilder fight just happened and he was pretty good defensively and he was hitting him. Mm. So going like with, with that mindset, yeah, I think it's a real danger. And like second, second in what you said about like, if you're boxing someone and you can't hit them, it's like, people like, never done it don't know this stuff but like it's so psychologically training like mm. I, I used to train with Josh Kelly and like oh my god like <laughs> I, 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 I sparred him quite a bit for the Avanesian fight mm. and I've always said like I've never been in with someone as talented I used to watch him like when he was coming up I'd be like oh mate that style and like you know you, like, I, you know, I'd, I'd be able to land on that and then I, I trained with Josh a lot and um, yeah like I, I've sparred like, loads of good people loads and like, I've never felt like I can't get to someone. Mm. And, you know, like we had good spars, but, oh, my God, like, there'd be shots where I would just be able to set anyone up with and just land it, that he would just be gone. And it was, mm. it's, it's almost, like, mystical. You're like, mate, like, how can that be a target and mm. not be... Do you know what I mean? How, how can I not land that? So, yeah. It, and while it, you're thinking about how you didn't land it, you've probably got about two or three punches coming back at you to never yeah, think yeah, about yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, so yeah. it's like... Mate, them top fighters, like the defensive geniuses. That's why Floyd was so good. Like, people... I think people would really underestimate when they were boxing him how good he was. And I don't mean that as in a sense they wouldn't train hard for him. They knew he was one of the greatest of all time. But, like... I always think of a Robert Guerrero or someone like going in and just windmilling like wide shots, like missing by a foot. And I just think like you, you can kind of prep for these people, but like until you actually get in there and you, you actually can't lay it on them. Like it, it's, it's a different thing, especially when like you've, you're experienced and you've been able to do it to everyone else. You get in with someone you can't hit. It's a weird thing, man. Mm. 